Day 314. When it comes to doing hard things, context is everything. It is interesting how we tend to forget how hard we are working when we are having fun doing it. For example, if I had to go into my backyard and run back and forth from end to end 40 times and jump up and down a thousand times, I wouldn't do it. I would find something else to do. However, if my friends called me and asked me to come over and play a game of a, ba a pickup game of basketball, I would run out the door excited to take on the challenge. The backyard activity would actually be easier by comparison, yet I will willingly and enthusiastically do the harder work because it is fun. I'm sure some scientists will tell us this is because of some dopamine release, and perhaps that is the case, but the reality is that the reason does not matter much. The result is what matters. If you are having a hard time doing something healthy in your life, then consider as an option incorporating an activity you absolutely love to do. Suddenly, the hard work is no longer hard work. It is now having fun and relaxing instead. This seems like a simple concept, yet why do we not do it? I've had, had the thought about this, and I have, have come to the conclusion that some people do this all the time. I met with a man in which golf was his passion. He explained his schedule, and I was dumbfounded. He belonged to several clubs, groups, and leagues, all centered around golf. He was constantly outside, walking, moving around. Now, golf may not be the best exercise in the world, but this older man was certainly spry and fit for his age. He also seemed happy and was relaxed and was enjoying himself. Instead of spending an hour on the treadmill in his local Planet Fitness watching CNN, he was outside with his friends enjoying the last remaining rays of the afternoon sun and walking the back nine of his favorite golf course. I was walking out of the gym a few days ago to get back to my vehicle. Next door is this karate studio. I see this man and his kids come out there every time I go to this gym. He is always there. After some observation, I noticed how happy he and his boys were. They were so excited leaving the studio. They looked energetic, engaged, and laughing. They were in there for over an hour doing what looked like pretty intensive exercise to me. This was in sharp contrast to my fellow gym rats. We all looked sullen, staring at our phones as we, we returned to our vehicles. Karate man and karate kids were on top of the world, and all of us were flipping through social channels looking for some news to pick us up. I love hiking. When I go hiking, I do not stop. I just keep going forever. Sure, I get fatigued, get hot, get uncomfortable. However, those things seem trivial compared to the enjoyment that I have walking in the wilderness. It is amazing to me how a walk around my concrete neighborhood can feel like torture when a scramble up a 10K peak feels like a reward. So I've come to the conclusion that when it comes to doing hard, difficult things, context is everything. If you are struggling to do something that you really should be doing, then just simply change the context.